want to see it, I think. Fans want to see a clear cut victory. Whenever they can. Ladies and gentlemen, this next matchup is for the ringside independent. You know what? Unfortunately, I just got a call. And I have an appointment. The commissioner and the co owner? The commissioner, is, he wants me. I, I'm going to have to step out for the evening. The commissioner has told me I'm on assignment. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Thanks for joining me, Frankie. And being accompanied by their manager, the Godfather Bill Montana. I give you Pierre and Damien Bichon, the family. The family coming to the ring for the tag team title match, the challenges. Pierre and Damien Bichon. Precious one at our last show, they won a triple threat match for the number one contenders to earn the right to be here tonight. And now they'll take on Team Elite, the Phoenix and the Reaper, the Ringside Entertainment Tag Team Champs. Fans of the Bashan family parking, getting the fans riled up here in Everett. The bigger of the Vashans, Damien, will fit the ring. Fans, what you didn't see at intermission is our cameras are off that the Vashans, the team elite, almost went at it. They had to be separated. We might have been able to catch some of that action with our handheld cam fans. Fans, as I mentioned, our next event, Halloween happening, Saturday, October 28th, right here at the Everett Rec Center. And ladies and gentlemen, It's 617-394-2381 here at the Rec Center. Or you can go to our website, www.ringsideent.tripod.com. Here comes the commissioner slash co-owner, leading the tag team champions, Team Elite, to the ring. Yeah, here he comes, by my, my broadcast booth. This is getting no respect for nothing. Very arrogant, very arrogant. I mean, the nerve to wear that Rest in Peace Red Sox 2006 shirt, despicable as usual. The champs taking their time coming to the ring. Commissioner is here. Maybe we can find out who's going to be in the main event. Who's that, Lord Osborne fighting for the title? That's that's true. Or are we on a need-to-know basis? Well, if I can get him over here, I, I will ask him that question, Cino. Hey, Mr. Mr. Owner, the fans would like to know, since you took stunning out of the main event, who was the champ going to fight? Do we have a main event tonight? I'll let you know when we have what an arrogant co-owner. Well, there you go, Sino, you were right. It's a need-to-know basis. Very arrogant. The Vachans, with a golden opportunity here, fans, to become the new Ringside Entertainment Tag Team Champs. All four men in the ring now. Referee Rob calling for the bell. And there go the champions as usual, running away. Team Elite take it off. The Vachants chasing after Team Elite. Pierre and Damien hit the ring. They're greeted by Team Elite with some punches and kicks. Of course, the Vachants, you know, a well-known family name from our friends up in Canada. Members of the famous Vachon family, now they've joined your good friend, our good friend, Quest's family. 
Pierre, the bigger of the two, and boy, is he a big man. The champs look a little disorganized outside here, so you know. Our corner needs to get his team organized. Oh, nice clothesline off the ring apron. Down in front of us here. Phoenix down in front of us. That was nice to see Frankie and the fix up. We kind of mended our fences there earlier, so you know. I can't tell him that. They're paying customers. They're entitled to their opinion. He started this show off saying how bad he felt about the Red Sox and trying to rub it into these fans in Everett that how great the Yankees are. He deserves to hear that. Is Pia going to go to that top? Damien's up on the other corner. Double missile dropkick finding the mark. The tag team champs are down. Uh, I think Pia thought, thought, uh, thought better of it, this, you know. Yeah, I don't want to see Pia come off the top rope. That's my water. Pia's got Damien using his own partner as a battering ram. Phoenix and Reaper both go down. Pia may be the bigger of the Vachons, but Damien's definitely got the harder head. Well, fans, I don't know. Will we have a main event after this match, Cino? You know? The Rashad's definitely taking the action to the tag team champs, Team Elite. Well, the Rashad's actually uh, played it very smart this time. They brought their own manager, maybe to uh, even the odds a little bit. TJ Anson is not a happy man. I wish the fans would say TJ, you know, but... Damien and Phoenix squaring off in the middle of the ring. Nice snap man takeover by Damien. Nice head scissors. Nice reversal by Phoenix. Every time we see Phoenix, he always seems to be changing his, his hairstyle, so you know. Nice move out by Damien. Right into a headlock of his own. Very simple, basic uh, escape move, so you know. Well, having the bald head probably didn't hurt either. That's true. That, that is true. Damien tags in Pierre. Big double axe handle to the back of Phoenix. Oh, here we go, here we go, chops. From the Rick Fuller School of Chops. I'll tell ya. Oh! This what is a big line. Line. He this definitely got line. elevated. Here's the cover. One, two. Reaper in to break up the count. See, you now we have to get to the bottom of this if we can with uh, Deanna DeVille. Uh, they apparently, I mean, can you figure out what happened there? Well, I heard I heard the Commissioner Cohen say, any member of Team Elite, if they don't win, they don't deserve to be in Team Elite. I understand that part, but... Now, is that just because Deanna's a woman wrestler? Or is that for every member of Team Elite? But I don't, after she got fired, so she, she gets saved by Enigma, and instead of taking Enigma, she slaps him. We have to get Deanna on the show and find out what's going through her mind. Enigma don't talk to us. He doesn't talk to anybody. So, oh, that's a cheap shot. A cheap shot by the Reaper. Tag in. Reaper and Phoenix double teaming on Damien in the corner. Double suplex coming up. Connected. What a move by the champs. Come on. Just a one count there. I hope the owner doesn't, doesn't take a stroke on us already because he's really turning all shades of red here so you know. He's getting all wound up. Reaper's got him up for a body slam. Hits the ropes. Big knee across the face and the throat, Precious. Only a two count there, Precious. Yeah, one. That'll take the win right out of you, Sino. Reaper very good at dragging that knee oh. across the throat. There's a slap. I don't think he wants yeah. to anger the big guy. 
That's a, it, you know, see, you know, I'm going to say it again for a thousand times. When there's a tag match out here, you need two referees. Well, earlier when I was broadcasting some of the matches with Frankie the Fixer, he said he has a very good friend in the company. I have it on good authority. He said he's very good friends with our commissioner slash co-owner. Maybe we can mention that to Frankie and he can fix it. Oh, wait a minute now. He told you he's good friends with... That's why he came out earlier, took over for the broadcast booth. He said he was told by the, the owner, T.J. Anderson, that uh, I needed a break. Wanted to talk to me about that $5,000 fine for us having water at ringside here. <laughs> Damien trying to make a tag. Phoenix makes a tag to Reaper. Damien gets the tag in up here. Big running clothesline by the big man. Headbutt sends Phoenix back. Oh, he planted him with that DDT, Paul. Added a little extra weight with a nice forearm going down, too. He drove his head into the mat. The Vashans calling for their finisher, saying that's it. The Vashans want to end this. Here comes the freight train. Oh, referee Rob got hit by the freight train. Damien over set up and over. Oh, what impact. What is, what is, you see that, you see that Cino? The owner, he's, he's, he, he hears something to the champs. He hears something to the champs. They pounded in the eyes. They pounded in his eyes. A cheap, a cheap ploy. The big man, Pierre, blinded by that powder. We gotta hope it wasn't, wasn't, uh, something that really hurt the eyes. Yeah, what'd you miss? You hear them some power. No, 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 no. It was hard to have some, some dry up, some, some tears. Yeah, I think, you're, I think you're full of it. Pierre yeah, still blinded by that powder. Damien trying to make his way back up. Well, she knows you recall many years ago when the powder was used with the late uh, Gino Hernandez and she was in, in the late Chris Adams and he blinded him. And it was in the power. Down in world class to win the title. What a sidewalk slam by Pierre on Reaper. No, no, that's not Reaper. Pierre still blinded, sidewalk slammed his own man, Damien. What a mistake by Pierre. He, he sidewalk slammed his own man. Well, he, I mean, he can't see, see, you know, somebody grabbed him, so he thought it was his partner. I mean, he thought it was uh, Phoenix. Pierre just You're tagged right. in Reaper. That's the cover. One. Can't be. Two. No. Three. Oh, come on. I get another cheap victory. The winner of the Spanish and still ringside tag team champion, Reborn and the Phoenix Team Elite. The owner, TJ Anderson, happy that Team Elite victorious and they retain the ringside entertainment tag team titles. Pierre blinded by that powder. Sidewalk slammed his own man. Well, you know, see, now I want to ask a question. Now, with all this interference going on with, with, the, with the owner, the, the, the Sean's manager... the effects from that powder. Now Reaper's in front of us here now. The tag team champs back out. Oh, Reaper yeah. and Phoenix. Because you cheat. You cheated with some powder. That's why you're still champion. You cheat.
The Bashans coming up on the losing end of that tag team title match. I tell you, PM might have to get some medical attention in the back. Uh, we, we've got to really hope that it was only, you know, baby powder, talcum powder. It wasn't more, nothing more serious than that, so you know. Uh, Fans, he's, hurt, he's hurt. Fans, while we're waiting for our main event that we still don't know who the champ's taking on, well, I want to talk to you about our next show, Halloween Happenings, Saturday, October 28th, here at the Everett Rec Center.